she's very upset. She says, Mom, get me out of here. The fallout continues after the release of a state report on allegations of the assault and rape of a 12-year-old boy inside the Wayne County Juvenile Detention Center. This is horrible. The woman's child was sent to the center for disciplinary reasons and for ditching school. The mom does not want to be identified to protect her daughter's identity, but she says her child became a victim also. The other kids, um, that's where the sexual assault and physical assault come from. This mom says the allegations of the 12 year old boy who alleged he was punched and raped by other youth in the facility during multiple incidents in March of 2023 are close to what her child has also experienced. One instance when she comes out the shower, she's groped in all parts of her body. I said, where's the staff? She says they're standing right there. The mom says staff members are in a monitoring room instead of being out in the open. So they're over there monitoring, but the assault is happening over here. When the center staff intervenes, the mom maintains it's often too physical and overbearing. If I would have hit her, it's a whole different thing. CPS will be involved expeditiously, but they can, five people can hold her down. How does this make you feel? Horrible. I'm absolutely mortified. Uh, I, 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 like I said, I've, I've notified everybody I could. This mom says she has complained to the judge and the lawyer assigned to her child's case. It took some time, but her child is now at a different center. Been transferred to a different facility. And that's the judge's court order. State officials tell Fox 2 that investigations have taken place in recent months and various violations have been identified. And Wayne County officials say changes are underway. But this mom's fight is not over, and she says she is looking for an attorney to get justice for her child. When I heard this story, I, f I felt compelled to speak up because I want that little boy to know. I want that young man to know he is not alone. I believe him. Same way I believe my daughter. In Detroit, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.